y'all remember that time that the leaders of the new school were talking about the PTA and all this stuff that they dealt with, with as kids dealing with parents? So first you had Dinko D. Now he was in school writing notes and writing quotes from Shakespeare trying to show this girl that he really cared. Because there was three dimensions to their love. One was him, one was her, and one was the pops. So he's really trying to get in good with the pops so that way he can get in good with the girl. So he's pretending to be a duck wearing sweaters, shoes, and then sitting with the pops listening to him play the blues and even try to go to his mom and talk to the mom about the love that you know he had for the daughter and she's like you know hey watch yourself inch by inch watch yourself and use some sense and so he's trying to go along with them but in the end it didn't even really matter anyway because all they did was still complain and that's when Bustin' Rhymes come in now Bustin' Rhymes he's a little bit infamous it's a little bit misbehaving and mischievous I mean this joker was out here shooting spitballs through straws at people and then one day he's in there trying to talk to this girl named uh Cheryl and then the teacher was like nah I'm, I'm gonna get this joker right now and she's like nah I ain't gonna get you in detention nor suspension but I'm gonna call your mama pretty much is what she's talking about so now there's a connection between the mom and the teacher and Bus ain't feeling that because he knows when mom gets home he gonna she gonna wear that tail out because we know what it's like when the school call your parents that ain't nothing you really want to fool around with so now he caught up in that as well between the teacher the mother and the father he pretty much done for he's cooked now you got charlie brown charlie brown like the teachers hating him no girl wanted to date him he was a class clown i mean this joker would just go around leaving apples rotten and brown nowhere to be found just leaving them there so one day he trying to get some sleep in the lunchroom and then so they come to him he's like no i didn't do it they're like yes you did and then he ended up getting suspended but then like uh judge w wapner he ended up taking this joker to court now he in court now he's in there with the teachers parents preachers there's the principal there's a kid in there wearing sneakers he's pretty much cooked because it is 12 versus one and so now this joker got to serve 364 days of detention but, I mean, that's how it go when it's just another case of that old PTA.